Fucking cyclists holding us up behind the bus. That song's not for you, but. And then? Estás cansado? Ciao. Okay, Callum, so you're going to be the cameraman today and we're going to learn the people how to descend. Cool. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready. Ready to showcase to your them. skills. Okay, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another vlog. I've got my South African mate here, Callum. And today we're going to show you guys how to descend like a pro. Um, Callum has won a stage, a uh, queen stage, in fact, in Tura, Rwanda, and it's been raining a lot as well, so he knows how to handle his bike pretty well, so I'm sure he's going to be able to keep up. He has the GoPro on him. A uh, really important thing to notice is Callum has 28 millimeter tires. I only have 25, so that should make it easier for this amateur to keep up with me today. Um, a really important thing, I've got the Vittoria Corsa controls on here and speed, so I've got a lot of confidence in my bike. However, the bike of choice I have this year is a climbing bike. It's a little bit shorter, so my wheelbase is shorter. My handlebar are pretty small, they're 38 to 40, um, and the bike is shorter. I've got a lot of weight on my front wheel and my front handlebar, so I am not that good in descending this year. However, I will be changing to the aero bike mid mid year which is in about one week in China we will go to the aero bike and I'll have a longer wheelbase and I'll be better in descending again however the type of races I've been doing this year does not require me to descend really fast down technical long alpine passes because my calendar has been better so I've been really happy with the setup it's also um, upright a lot so things to take into consideration the asphalt is really good I know this descent well so I'm not going to deflate my tires that's not necessary I don't know about Callum what his tire pressure is, but I think he feels pretty safe on the bike. He's young, and you know the youngsters, they don't really see all the risk, they just bomb it. So uh, Callum, let's go enjoy this descent and show the people how to descend. Just one big thing, every time people get scared, whether you lean into the left or to the right, um, when people get scared, they often take pressure. So when I'm leaning to the left, I always have a lot of pressure on my left hood or the left hand side of the bike and sometimes people see something in the road and they get scared and they obviously lock up so in the corners you never ever pull hard on the front brake we know that but never take pressure off of the side that you are leaning into so whether you're leaning into the left you have a lot of pressure on your left hand side of the handlebar don't take the keep the pressure there so even if the, the wheel starts bumping sideways that's okay you've got pressure as soon as I lift my hand off of this side of the handlebar and take off pressure of my left hand side while leaning into left hand corner that's where the biggest risk is involved in crashing because i will lose pressure on that front tire that has a lot of grip and it will in fact when i take pressure off the front wheel will slightly go inwards on the side that i'm taking the pressure off the same goes for the right hand side so let's go practice that
Yeah, let's go over. Nice descent, there, Callum. Thanks a lot. Um, will you just close the tap before we leave? Just close the tap. Is someone gonna close that tap or not? <laughs> so we we are about to head down the second descent of the day and what I want you guys to focus on here is with the hairpins you want to focus on the quality of the road and the inside of the corner. We specifically don't want to cut lines in the inside of the corner if it's off camber. So you'll see us taking a wider line. And if the inside of the corner is not off camber, which means it's in the op it's lying down in the opposite direction of which you're turning, we want to cut that corner. Fucking cars can't they see we're flogging here? So Obviously, when we're taking the high-speed corners, you want to take the shortest line as possible. But with high-speed corners, I would specifically look at the quality of the road and not go over oil slicks or the slickery part of the corner, so I have more grip. And with the hairpin corners, you want to see if the inside of the corner has is has an off-camber, uh, oily or slick section, which you don't want to go over. You'll see us go wide, and if you don't see that in the corner, you can obviously cut the hairpin corner as much as possible, and this will automatically make you a better descender.
three hours. <laughs> That's a joke. You know what I don't get? Tell me. Is why do <laughs> why do after it's fucking hot outside cyclists always drink a coffee? Would you? Addiction. But I can't even see nothing on the GoPro. You like so far away. All the time. Just stay on the wheel. Like don't you know how to descend? Clearly not. Engel, yes, yes, my arm. My, my, all my footage. You fucked up all my footage. 